Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are gonna be talking about my January favorites. So anyways, we're gonna break it down today into um, beauty, um, food, fitness, and lifestyle. I guess that would be the name of it. So we're going to kick off right into fitness stuff. So um, as many of you probably also have done, I started going back to the gym again in January. Um, and I've had these shoes for a while and I've talked about them before, but I like re-fell in love with them um, this month. So um, if you have watched all of my YouTube um, videos before or have you seen a lot of them, I did like a, like a unboxing of some stuff I got fitness wise. And I got both of these pairs of shoes. They're the exact same shoe, except for one is white and dirty. Um, has the white strap over it. And this one has a black one. So, and it just like this. So there's no shoelace, shoelaces. It just looks... These are also dirty, um, but I love these because there's no laces. So it just like forms right to your foot by this band. And it's just nice because like you don't have it where like you're running or on the treadmill or doing something. And one of the shoes is like looser than the other. They both are just like form right to your foot. So I really, really love these. The other thing which I've also shown people um, before is my Beats wireless headphones. Um, and like I said, I've shown these before, but with going back to gym again, I just realized like how much I love them again. So they come in a case, zip it open. And these are the Beats um, Studio 3s, I think, and they're wireless. And I'm obsessed with them. These are the ones that go like over your ear. Um, and so I'm sitting on top of it because I have a lot of piercings in my ears. Um, and the other, any ones that like sit on top or like go in because I have piercings that are like in my ear canal, I can't get them to stay in. So like those little ones that you put the buds in, they don't work for me. They don't stay in my ear. If I'm like jogging or something, always falls out. It's just uh, around it. So my ear kind of sits like in the circle and I love these so. I know they're kind of bulky and a lot of people don't like that, but I really can't notice. Okay, I can barely even hear my house, myself talking. Um, but I love these when I'm at the gym. Hey, no. Um, when I'm at the gym, I like these because they're noise canceling. So you can't hear anybody. You can't hear anybody else's music. And then, um, like I said, it's just nice because they just all to myself, especially when you're on the treadmill or the elliptical or any cardio, like you just cancels everything out. You're just in the zone. You can't hear anything. Like literally, they're just awesome. And I got them in this like Louis gray color. And I love them. Okay, now we're gonna move into the food portion of my favorites for January. So I, once again, have talked about these before, but also just recently re in love with them. Um, these are the Oh Yeah One Bars. I have become obsessed again. So, um, if you need like a protein bar that's on the go, these are so, so good. I love them. Um, they're better than any protein bar I've tasted. But these ones are actually good. Like this one is the chocolate brownie. And this is the peanut butter pie. So for my macro people, um, the peanut butter pie one has eight grams of fat, 23 carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So that is a lot of protein in one bar. This one has eight grams of fat, 24 carbs, and 20 protein. So the brownie one has one more gram of carbs than this one, but high 20 grams of protein so i know a lot of people when they count macros protein is like the hardest one to hit so these are just like a nice little treat in the afternoon or after the gym quick if you are going places you know time to get a protein shaken i highly recommend these bad boys my ultimate 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 favorite thing this month which i'm so sad because i had to pull this out like not out of the garbage but because it was sitting next to it but 
I just used the last of these up <sighs> yesterday. So I've heard many, many people talk about Kodiak, Kodiak cakes, um, but I never really, well, first of all, at first they were nowhere in my little small town, so I couldn't find them anywhere. And then um, finally I found them at Meyer when Meyer opened up this past April. So they have them there. Um, the first one I got for the Kodiak cakes, they a lot of different flavors, was the peanut butter cruncher or something like that. And it was really good, don't get me wrong. But, oh my gosh, the dark chocolate, I can't, I can't even. Holy shit, so good. So for half a cup, has four grams of fat, 28 carbs, and 14 grams of protein. If you've not, I recommend trying these out they are so good i can't on to the beauty portion of this favorites video so the past couple months i've been getting more into makeup and um things like that i've never really been like a makeup -y person i'm not one of those people that's big into beauty stuff because i just like have never been my face has been so dry that i just never been able to do that kind of stuff okay so I recently started a new face care routine and I am loving it. My face has been so soft. My face has been way less dry. Like I am obsessed with this face care routine. So um, I thought I'd share it with you guys. So um, it's the Clinique three step system. And the first one is just the mild liquid facial soap mild. And it says, Gentle, effective cleansing developed by Clinique's dermatologists for the needs of skin dry in the cheeks, comfortable to oily in the T-zone, leave skin feeling fresh, clean, comfortable, non-drying, used twice daily. So, this is for like a dry combination, obviously, I am dry skin. So, um, as you can see, I've used some, and this does not, you do not need like hardly any of this. Like I know people freaking say that all the time, but like for, for real, for real. Like I will use like a tiny, like pea-sized amount and it like gets my whole face really good. So I've had this since October and I'm only, I've only used that much of it. Also, I do not use this twice daily, so that could be why. But anyway, so when she was sitting down with me and um, showing me, when she was sitting down with me and she was going over my skincare routine, at the time my face wasn't like super dry, so she recommended the second part of the system, which is the clarifying lotion twice a day exfoliator in the number two. So basically the numbers range from like, you know, like dry, super dry, to like super oily skin. So she was like, you know, I almost never see a number one. Like number two is the most popular for the dry, for my dry skin girls. So I recommend you getting that. So as you can tell, I've used a lot of this, which also you don't use barely any. And I, so I was using this and I was like, you know what, my, my forehead was still like peely and dry and nasty. So I was like, maybe I'm one of those number one girls. So. I recently, like two weeks ago, went into Ulta and I got the number one clarifying lotion um, exfoliator because I am so dry. So this one's from for very dry to dry skin, and this one is for dry combination skin. So I am not a dry combination skin. I am a dry face. So comfortable, non-drying exfoliator gently removes dull, dry flakes to uncover skin that's smooth, glowing, instantly refines pores, helps skin accept moisture. Over time, helps revitalize skin's natural renewal process. So you use this step, number one, step number two. So this is like the lotion exfoliator. And then step number three is the Clinique Dr Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. So right there. And this is step number three in the system. Um, now combines all day hydration with skin strengthening ingredients, silky texture, penetrates quickly, spread over face, throat, twice daily, all over or where needed. For best results, use after facial soap and clarifying lotion. So, and this is for very dry to dry skin. So this is step number three, which I'm already, you can tell like I'm already have used a lot of this. And then 
If you have really, really dried skin, you use step number four, which is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief, which is in this, which I just got this like a week ago. This says, rapid long lasting hydration in a refreshing oil free gel. Delivers a burst of moisture, smooth, softens, locks in moisture, locks in moisture, locks in moisture all day. Use under or over makeup. So, um, when I went to Ulta and they gave me the first steps, she gave me like a free sample of this for like. What the fuck? She gave me a free sample of this. Um, from October, she gave me a free sample in October and I just ran out of it like two days ago. And it was like this little sample size. So this is probably gonna last me a long, long time. Um, if you would like to see kind of like a skincare routine, cause I do more than just this, um, let me know, comment below and let me know if you wanna see that. But this three step has like changed my face and I am obsessed. It's it's the only thing so far that it's like worked in that I've noticed help in my dry skin. So those are our favorites. <laughs> my next beauty favorite is this pure extractor mask from Philosophy. This is what it looks like. And it slide that off so I can actually show you what it looks like. And this is just like the little baby one. They have like a big one, but I just wanted to try it out. Um, and there it is. So, you gently massage onto clean, dry skin, focusing on your T-zone and oily areas. Leave on skin for five to 10 minutes or until the clay is completely dry. So, basically, I went into Ulta and I was like, hey, do you have Glam Glow? Like, I know it gets our blackheads. Well, as you people who know about beauty know, you cannot get Glam Glow at Ulta, you can only get it at Sephora. So, <laughs> You know, so I was like, okay, well, do you have anything that's like that? Because I have really bad blackheads like on my nose and like down here. Other than that, like dry, which my nose is still super dry, but I get blackheads. So a very nice man in there was like, um, this is one of our newer things. And he's like, I'm obsessed with it. And you only need to use it twice a week, which I've yet to use it twice a week because I'm so bad on my game, but so I um, started using this and it is amazing. Every time I use this, um, my like I can like go like this and there's just like it's soft and there's no blackheads and I so I highly highly recommend this for anybody who has blackheads. My next beauty favorite is this Nivea in shower body lotion for dry to very dry skin. Go figure. And I love this stuff. Um, this is actually like almost gone. But being the January, February, and December are like, December, January, February are like really, really dry months for me. Um, this stuff is awesome because, so if you use this in the shower while your conditioner is setting, you're putting lotion on your body and you're rinsing it off. Literally you get out of the shower and you don't even have to put lotion on because this did the trick with it because it's just nice to like after I wash my body off I use the lotion rinse that off my skin is already so soft not sticky super soft and I get the shower and my skin feels like I just put lotion on it but I did it in the shower because I'm one of those weird people who hate putting lotion on after the shower you have to, to me becoming a beauty guru not really but um people talk about setting sprays and stuff like that all the time so you know I'm trying to get in with it so I recently bought this this Too Faced Hangover. It's Prime Set and Fresh Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. And it smells so good. So you can put it on before. You prime your skin to clean skin before makeup. Set it after makeup to keep it in place all day. And you can use any time during the day to refresh your skin. And it smells so phenomenal. Coconut water probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers so you can see that oh and it like I said you shake it mm, and this also helps oh my god it smells so good this also helps me a lot with my dry skin so um oh my god 
it's just so soft and it smells so good. Mm. This helps a lot before and after I put my makeup on um, with the dryness, no flaking. So highly recommend that. The next thing I want to talk about is just kind of like lifestyle-y type things, um, like books and other things that help me in life. So um, every year I get one of these bad boys, the Passion Planner. I cannot go or do anything without my planner. I am super obsessed. I need to write down my to-do list, the things that I do that week. I've talked about it so many times. Like It's like my routine. I'm always constantly in here. Um, it's nice. They have, you know, where you can keep track of where you're at. And it has this thing. Um, the back of it even has like a little pouch where you can like keep important things in there. Um, but it's just amazing. And it kind of looks like this. And you just have spots to write down any appointments, your to-do list, um, you know, any personal to-do list, any work to-do list. And not only that, but it also like has like this week's focus and good things that happen this week that you can keep track of. Um, and they always have like a quote down on the side. So for example, this week's is the key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. And next week's is how wonderful is it that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. And then they'll have like little cute things in there that are like, write down the five people you spend the most time with and think about the qualities you share with them, good or bad. Spend time, spend more time with people who lift you up and distance yourself from those bring who bring you down. So it's a lot, it's really cute. And like one thing says like change starts from within. This week focus on one thing you want to improve about yourself and do something every day that helps you work towards that goal. So I love the Passion Planner because it, it, it helps you plan, but there's also like cute little things in here to do. So I also use all these felt tip pens <laughs> with it to keep track of all my different stuff that I use in different colors. Things I wanted to talk about is I read this book before January, but I just want to talk about it because it's so good. So good. I let someone borrow it and they spilled coffee all over it, the cover. Um, but if you um, are a book, bookie or book nord, no, nord book nerd um it's called in a dark dark wood by ruth ware and it's kind of um doesn't even have a thing where i can read about it to you guys but just trust me that it's really really good um it's kind of like a thrillery but not it's kind of i can't even explain it it's really good trust me so if you like to read in a dark dark wood if you like poems or anything like that um, I've been getting a lot of poems and things like that off of this book this past month and it's called Black Butterfly by Robert M. Drake. I've had this actually for a while but like I said I've been pulling a lot of poems and stuff like that from it this month um, and I really really like it. So if you are like a poemy person um, or like whoop, like little things like that it just has like a lot of really good poems and quotes and th things like that that like speak to me um and that make you think so if you are someone who likes poems or things like that i highly recommend this book and last but not least uh to end this video i am starting my book club on february 1st reading this book you are a badass i know a lot of people have read this book a lot of people have talked about this book so i thought it'd be a great one to start off my book club with and it is not too late to purchase i will leave a link for everything i talked about down below if you're interested in it or want to look at it um I will leave all the description box below, including this book if you do need to purchase it. If you are watching this and it's after February 1st, you can start at any time. It doesn't have to be, you know, that you need to start on February 1st. You can start this book at any single time or reread it or anything you want. It's a really good book. And I mean, I read a couple, I read like a hundred pages of it and then like declined off. So we're, we're gonna be reading this book together. If you are reading this book, you can talk about it on Instagram with the hashtag for my book club title called Soft Covers with K. And 
Um, that way we can all communicate and talk about it and I'm gonna pick a book every month. So this is the book we are starting with once again. So if any of these things, like I said, um, interest you or you wanna look at or I have any questions on, feel free to comment below and I'll answer them. And I will leave a description, a link in the description box to everything um, that I talked about in this video. So if it's something you're interested in, you can purchase it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and like it if you did like it. And feel, feel, feel free to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Look at those. Beautiful snowy trees. Hello, winter wonderland.